that the rest of employees yes, yes. yes. they yes. are also i forgot exactly where oh well or would you i how do you say or you i forgot pride 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 ah, i was thinking in the in the movie or the book <laughs> yeah the <laughs> pride um, Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pride. I think those are the qualities to a perfect boss.
with, with sandalias. I don't know how do you say sandalias. Sandals. 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 A sandal. Um, uh, I like to, how do you say centros? Uh, centros. Yes. Like, like this? Yes. Ah, just a regular t-shirt, right? Just regular, it's just yes. a t-shirt. Yes, yeah, but, no. but a t-shirt uh, sin mangas, no, no, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, tú estás hablando sin mangas. Yes. Ah, sleeveless. 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 Yes. Like, like the one I'm wearing right now. Yeah, like let me see. Sure. Right sure. Sleeveless. <laughs> yes. This mom uh, only, only, only they like to, to start in... In, in the beach, the... Pets like... They have to treat them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is the question? The next. Talk about what is better to be a boss or an employee? Boss. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, boss. Obviously. Right. So why? Give your give your thoughts as to why. Maybe a boss, but you have a lot of responsibilities with your employees, and that's not a good idea for you because you have a the whole company, and like under your hands, and so that's why it is a big problem. Okay, great. But if you make the When when uh, the boss is a when the person is a boss, uh, uh, this he decides about your uh, about the time, about the money, about the um, other. Hello, uh, Jennifer, did you disconnect from the group? Yes, teacher, I have a problem with the connection. Okay. Can you please move me to the person? Yes, I sure will. Well, you were with, let me check. Who, you remember who you were with? With Janari. With Janari, okay. And Carlos. And Carlos. Uh, yeah, okay, group number five, right? Okay, let me put you there. Let me see, Jennifer. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, there you go. There's the invitation to go to your group. Hello, Abigail. Hi, teacher, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. We're finishing up the activity that we were doing yesterday. Um, you were with Alvin, right? Yes. Okay, we just have like maybe a few minutes left, so, but I'll put you with them, okay? Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Room number one. There you go.
uh, also the people who uh, recollect the coffee, the way of coffee at the mountain. Mm. At yes, the, the people that, that get the, the harvest of the coffee. People who collect coffee at mountain. Okay, at the mountain. Yeah. At, the, at mountain. the mountain. At the mountain, mountain yes. Ah, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I have a hair that is a really hard work. And the payment is not good. And it's not a well paid job. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I have about three minutes. All right, about three minutes. Okay, teacher. Talk about. The general administration is a man, is okay. a all men. Um, I, 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 I think the same. And I don't know what is other. Carlos? They give you bonus and all that. It's oh, right. really? Okay, yeah. that's good. Well, that's, that's good. interesting, that topic. It's a good job. Yes, a good job. It's like it's a, a dream job. <laughs> it's a good place to be an employer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's excellent.
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, okay. let's see, I'm going to let me close. All right. Okay, class. Let me see. Is eighteen of you here? Okay. Now I'm going to let me share this back. The PowerPoint. And with regards to, all right, Teacher. with regards to the sec, yes? What do you think that is better, work with men or women? Excuse me? Women. What do you think? What is the better option, work with men or work with women? Okay, okay. In your men, opinion. all right. First, men no lleva s. Men and oh, then okay. women doesn't have an s. Also, it's women, men and women, men and women. All right. So, so you're asking me which is better. What do I think? Is it better to work with men or women? I think the workforce should be a balanced workforce. Okay. I believe that everywhere you go, there should be a balance. All right. You cannot be like everybody has to be a man, right? Or everyone has to be a woman. I think it should be proportionally. I think it should okay. be proportionally, right? I think it should be a balanced workforce, right? Okay. And that's what I think. It should be balanced. Now, I know some jobs, for example, I mean, if, like if you go to a mechanic shop, right? I mean, there's some jobs that that a lot of women don't take here in this country, but you, you can see mechanics in another, in other countries that they are okay. women. They yes, are women. I, I see in Código 21 that in San Miguel, right. but uh, a, a, a woman work with a taller de reparación de llantas. Yeah, but I'm saying like a mechanic, like to work in the yes. engine, work in engine transmission. You hardly see that here. And it's my wife hardly, is a mechanic, right? You hardly see it here. You hardly see it here because the opportunities are not there for them, right? But if you go to other countries, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of women that work in that workforce. Also, uh, driving eighteen wheelers in transportation, there's a lot of women, but it's rare here, right? But it's always good to have a balanced workforce, right? To be balanced. To be balanced, right? Give everybody the the opportunity, yeah. right, to work equally. Yes. Sure. My wife is a mechanic. There you go. You see, right? So it's uh, should nobody should be excluded, right? <clears throat> nobody should be excluded from uh, working equally in any place, right? Unfortunately, because we are in a Latin country, there's a lot of uh machismo and a lot of that going on right not just here in all latin america that prevent a lot of women from uh, <clears throat> acquiring the same benefits as men in the diff in the workforce right but that is my opinion Tell that to albi specific excuse me <laughs> Tell that to albi all right maybe that is my mindset because i've worked not just here in this country but I've worked in different countries and also in the United States, and I've worked with a lot of women, especially in in different areas, right? And uh, it's it's not unheard of. It's not something that is like what, right? It's very common to work around men and women uh, mutually. I don't see that here that much, but I've seen it in other countries that I've been to. All right, so that is my opinion of, on that, right? Now, uh, many many men probably think differently until they have a daughter. Ya cuando tienen una hija ya es diferente, el pensamiento cambia, right? When they have a daughter, like, hey, well, I want my daughter to have the same opportunities, right, as everyone else. So the perspective sometimes changes, right? Or when you... For example, if, if you have a sister or, or, a, or a niece or, or anyone in your family that gets rejected because of their gender, 
is totally unacceptable on my behalf, right? At least my opinion. Let me see. Okay, but let's continue with this. Thank you for your question, Francisco. All right. Hi, hey, teacher. Thank All right. You. No problem. Let me see. This is part two of the presentation. I have it here now. You can probably say, okay, teacher, but I think Blanca asked me, right? Cuando lo vamos a hacer? When are we going to do this presentation, right? My, my, my objective is to do it on Wednesday and Thursday, right? But I'm thinking about changing it. That will be next week. Yes, that will be next week, right? Okay. That will be next week. I'm thinking about maybe Tuesday and Wednesday. What do you think? I want your opinions. Do you rather have it Wednesday and Thursday or Tuesday and Wednesday? Give me your opinion. It is Alvin, Abigail, Francisco. Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday. 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 Okay. We have All one right. more day for we could ask you for help or anything that we're All right. missing. I appreciate your input and I Wednesday. I, I take that into consideration, right? I respect your opinions. So Wednesday and Thursday, get a fijo, right? Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Janari, did you want to say something? Sister. <laughs> uh, no, Wednesday and Thursday, right? All right, so now, the, is, remember I told you that this is not going to be something that is going, that is like perceived as, ah, va a estar fácil. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be hard and it's not going to be easy. You decide how hard you want to make it for yourself, right? If you understand the topic, if you have been in, in all the classes, Right. Even if you haven't been in the classes, you can always watch the recording. Right. Si ha faltado un día o dos, puede ver los, las grabaciones. You can always do that. Right. You can go to the list of YouTube and, and go see the recordings. Right. And you can analyze what you have missed. So the for like, for example, part one. Right. And a little bit extra information. For example, y hablamos de lo que es. Um, inbound outbound and third party logistics right so we were supposed to talk about that today but i went ahead and did it yesterday so we we can be clear before we go to the weekend all right so you can be better prepared now remember um this is part two you should have already finished part one La parte uno ya tiene que haber terminado, right? You should have it already finished. Part one. This is part two. Can you read, please, Alvin? Part two, presentation. Think of your logistics for the company. Are you going to use inbound, outbound, third party, or a combination of logistics? Begin your creation of our logistics plan. Logistical. Logistical plan. Number one, product or service. Number two, estimates the cost. Number three, direct or indirect distribution. Number four, propose improvements. Okay, very good. Pause right here. These are some key points. You see these key points right here? Three, four. These are like key elements that you must include. Lo debe de incluir en su logística. You must include it. You have to say it one way or another. All right. You have to say it one way or another. Is 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 it a product or a service? Right. Based on your company, you de, you already did part one, so you should know what your company is going to do. Is it, are you going to sell a product or you? I mean, are you going to distribute your logistics with a product or a service? That's number one. Number two, you have to estimate the cost. Right. You have to give an estimate. Right? You're like, teacher, well, como voy a hacer? Well, think about it. Think about it. This is the company you created, all right? You created this company, right? So you decide what your prices are. For example, if, if um, 
if I decide to, okay, yeah, I did part one, let's say, um, Henry's distribution, uh, Houston, uh, Henry's distribution center. That's the name of my company. I put my logo and my slogan, right? Um, always the best, right? Whatever slogan I might put, right? The top of the line or whatever. And then I say, okay, I have to create a logistical plan, right? Tengo que crear un plan of how am I going to move my product, right? Or are you going to use a third party? In this case, I can say, okay, no, I'm going to use um, outbound, for example, right? I want outbound logistics, right? That means that I'm going from my company to, to, the, to the consumer, right? Now, is it going to be, is that direct distribution or indirect distribution? You decide, right? Direct That's or direct. Right? That's direct. That's direct. Or you can say indirect, right? You can go online and have an app and you can indirect, but it's still direct, but you have to include that, okay? Because you can say third party logistics, it can say uh, from third party to, to direct distribution or indirect distribution, right? You decide what type of direct or indirect. Lo tiene que incluir también, right? You have to include it. Whether it's outbound, inbound, or third party, you decide what, what it's going to be, direct or indirect. Now, I have to make a plan. Tengo que hacer un plan, right? That plan is going to include, okay, I have a, I'm selling, ah, digamos, um, alcohol, not drinking alcohol. I'm not talking about drinking alcohol. I'm talking about alcohol, medical alcohol. Right? So for the pandemic, I'm selling gallons of alcohol. Let's just say, right, example. So that is my product. It's alcohol, gallons of alcohol, right? Gallons of alcohol. Now, how much is it going to cost me? ¿Cuál va a ser mi costo from moving my product from my company to whether it's to a retail store or directly to the customer how it depends you depend you decide right is it going to be direct or indirect i decide the cost so my logistics says okay this product cost cost me three dollars from china the example right and to send it here to deliver here right and then i'm looking at inbound this i'm going inbound right inbound porque viene de allá para acá so I'm, do, I'm going to talk about inbound, and then I'm going to say, okay, outbound to the customer, and the cost of this logistics to move the product 100 gallons of alcohol to move from San Miguel to San Salvador is going to cost me, let's say I have to include glass, right? Que voy a incluir ahí? El gas, right? The gasoline. I have to pay the person, right? What else? What else can be included in there? Eh, ¿Le pago el hotel o no? O que duerme en el, en el trailer. What do you think? Right? So those are things you have to analyze. You have to make a logistical plan. All right? And say, okay. Yes, sir, can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, do we have to do a step-by-step -step or can it be a whole summary? You can do a whole summary, right? You oh, don't have to say right. like, okay, number one, ta, ta, ta. number two, no. You can, I prefer you don't, right? Because if you go point number one, ta, 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 point number two, you're just going in chronological order. I want you to just give your your summary, okay. your summary, yes, right? You, That's better. yes, it's better because it's like, for example, cuando usted va a en frente de, de, they say you go in front of a, your personnel va a dar un discurso you don't say like okay number one ta, ta, ta. number <laughs> yeah. two right you don't right a donde hacemos eso aquí ahorita you do your plan punto numero uno punto numero dos and you do your plan and then when you give your presentation you just give a summary of that because you did it ya estás, you already know what you what you wrote and you just give your presentation now uh, Freddy uh, mentioned a great point, right? Now that he, according to what Freddy said, right, about points, you have to include those in your in your presentation, but not necessarily it's like step by step, right? 
Now, on your presentation, when you present it here in the class, when you present it in PowerPoint or Word, you can put like certain points, right? Algunos puntos para guiarlos. I do not want to see, I do not want to see como por ejemplo una página así, con todo esto así escrito, escrito donde usted nomás va a estar leyendo. No, I don't want that, all right? Now you can do it, you can do it, but uh, your, I will not look at it as a, like top notch presentation, all right? I will look at it as you did it. Yes, I was going to put yeah, hizo la actividad, but I prefer you not just write everything and just read it to the class, right? I want you to at least show the class that what you're speaking, at least you're you're knowledgeable about what you're what you're saying, right? Now, so I have to estimate the cost, right? For example, I, I was telling you about alcohol, right? So if I send a hundred, right? Let me see. If I send, ¿cuánto dije que me costaba cada galón? Three dollars, right? So if I have a hundred, I'm sending a hundred gallons of of alcohol, and they, what I pay was three dollars, right? That'll be three hundred. That will be three hundred, right? So I have a hundred, and I pay three dollars. That will be three hundred, right? So this is the cost. So lo que me ha costado el producto, right? Three hundred dollars. That's what I paid, right? Yeah. Now. I say, okay. Hmm. I paid three hundred dollars. I need to make profit, right? Tengo que hacer ganancia. I'm the company. I'm the one selling, right? So. You have to include some expenses. Exactly. Exactly, right? So now, how much is it going to cost me in gas? Hagamos un estimado aquí. To go from San Miguel to, to San Salvador. How much gas? No mal ahí. Like around $20 or $25? Uh, around there, maybe on, on a big truck, right? Big trailer. Uh, maybe, I know carritos son como $30. Um, let's say $100, right? A hundred dollars in gas, right? That's exagerando a little bit, but eh, let's do it at 100, right? Yeah. Uh, to go and come back, right? Either way, right? Go and come back. Because he has to, the person has to return back to the company, right? So that's a hundred dollars. How much is it going to cost me um, to pay the guy? ¿Cuánto le pagaría yo a él? How much should I pay someone to take this? To to, uh, to to deliver it. Yeah, to deliver it to like the store. And sometimes they charge. Well, it depends. If he's driving a truck, uh, the truck drivers sometimes they get paid like a night ninety bucks for the for the trip. Okay, so let's say a hundred dollars. Que le fue bien, ¿verdad? Con tip. All right, a hundred dollars. Do I include the hotel so he can spend the night, or he has to drive back at night? He has to drive back. Okay, he has to drive back. All right. Cuál hotel y cuál zapato, right? All right. So, yeah. all right. Do I pay for his food? Te pago la comida, yes or no? It depends on you. Okay, so let's say I, I say, okay, you know what? Eat something good, $10 in food, right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's, and maybe other expenses, right? Other expenses, I don't know. Uh, wear and tear of the car, right? Maybe an extra ten dollars for anything else. So let's say two hundred and twenty. Two twenty, right? Doscientos veinte dollars. And just that logistical analysis, right? This is just basic. Yeah. So how much did it cost me? Three hundred, right? Plus expenses, two twenty. So el valor ya no es de trescientos, right? It's five twenty. Five hundred and twenty. Sin ganancia, that's without any any yeah. gains, right? How much should I sell each gallon now? No lo puedo I would sell it for $7.50. Mm, let's go with an even number. $10. <laughs> $10, right? El galón de, de, 
cuesta around that $12, pero es que me costó uno, 10 o 11 dólares. El galón. Alcohol, right? So, let's say $10, right? So, a 10 dólares lo voy a vender. I'm going to sell it for $10. How much, how much is the total here? So, you had the profit of $400. No, what would be the total if I sell it? Oh. If I sell it for ten dollars, that would be a thousand, right? Sería oh, mil, yeah. a thousand, right? Porque son cien galones. Eh, y lo voy a, I'm going to sell them at ten dollars, so I have a thousand dollars. Pero tengo que descontar esto, right? The cost and the expenses, right? So I have to deduct five twenty from here. So you go like minus five twenty, right? So what would be my, my gain? What would be the profit? 408. Hmm? 480. Very good. All right? 480 will be your profit. All right? But this is just, this is just, no es que así va a ser, right? I'm just giving yeah. you a, an example, right? Example. So I, I have 100 gallons of alcohol that I bought for $3. And with expenses, gas payment and maybe the food 220 plus the cost of what i pay se suman las dos and then you get 520 and i'm going to sell it at ten dollars a gallon so mil dollars pero tengo que descontar los gastos which will be profit of 480 that's the mi ganancia so when we talk about logistics you're going to say okay the logistics are that the there I have a hundred gallons of alcohol that I pay for three dollars, and I have to pay the the gas, the pay pay the guy, and pay his food and maybe other expenses just on the way, which comes out to five twenty, and I'm going to sell it for ten dollars, so. I have a thousand dollars minus the expenses. My profit is 480. So the logistical, this is your logistics, right? Esto es la logística de su plan. Now you can add more. Agreguele más si quiere, right? You, you can add more here. I can add a hotel for $40 a night. Um, I can probably pay him extra to go pick up something que vaya a recoger algo a Huachapan or something, that would be another $50. You can keep adding, right? Pero que pasaría? Ya no lo vendería $10. It would be like $11 or $12, right? So you, depending on your logistics, you want to make that profit. So the profit of $480, the $1,000 sería como el 40, 48%. Yeah. Right? Right? It is. Uh, so it would be 48% of the gains, right? But it may vary, right? This is just an estimate. You can say, okay, it's bastante, right? But some people make more than that. Some people make less. It depends, right? Because if I have, okay, si tengo 100, pero digamos que sean 1,000, quizá le bajaría un poco el precio, right? I will lower the price para venderlos como pancakes, right? Like hotcakes. So I can say, okay, I'm going to sell it for $9. Porque tengo una cantidad y necesito, I need to get rid of it, right? So you can lower the price. The higher the quantity, the lower the price, right? If you sell, the more you sell, the lower the price. The less you sell, the higher the price, right? So you decide. I'm just giving you some numbers here. So you decide. You have to include something of this in your, in your logistical plan, all right? So remember that. Now, I know some of you have services, right? Algunos tienen servicios, not product, right? I think someone was talking about like um, a home that can be used as a hotel or to spend the night. So it's not a product. It's a service, right? It's a servicio, it's a service. So how will you do the, the logistics in a service? ¿Cómo saber cuánto cobrar? It depends on what you're doing. Let's say if it's, that, if it's a service that you're going to give, like uh, fixing something, you, that you have to, in the logistics, you have to add um, the basic to, to, 
to take out let's say the, um uh, what uh, what the dispense are and you have to add like you said the gas okay now in some time yes how can i say precio de mercado okay the market price oh, okay how you can invest the price market price okay but in mm -hmm. some case teacher depend the volume 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 and weight volume what weight peso okay the weight all right yeah. Yeah. it depends on 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 the product you're doing right some products are sold by weight yeah that's true also right so you have to decide you decide la logistica no no termina aquí right it's like woo, you can do logistics just for for babysitting right for housekeeper right the housekeeper can say okay si tengo que ir hasta allá para limpiar la casa no te voy a cobrar esto right i'm not going to charge you this i have to i have yes. to go with this i have to travel four hours three hours right y la gente no va a cobrar va a ir por tres horas por seis dólares right or seven or eight ten dollars it depends right so you have to be able to decide what that's why i said right here is it a product or a service right and then you have to estimate the cost some are weight just like you mentioned francisco right some is yeah. weight some could be travel right la logística de viajar right for example when i go teach when i go teach english uh, to the people to have students to their house right so I charge more than I do online, right? If I have to go outside of my house, yeah, that's over the price, right? So it depends on what, what you're going to do, right? For example, I was mentioning about a hotel, right? Or una casa, a house, right? A house that I want to rent out. Muchas personas quieren alquilar un cuarto, right? How many people have you seen? Se alquila cuarto, se alquila casa, right? And how do they get that price? ¿Cómo llegan ese precio? ¿Por qué, no, ¿Por qué no 20 dólares? Why does it have to be like 75, 100, 125, 200, right? Where do they get these numbers from? ¿De dónde salen estos números? Right? First of all, when you rent a house, right? The logistics, you have to be able to determine the, the area the area donde está el lugar, right? That's logistics, right? It's like, okay, está la San Benito, está la Escalón, o está allá, right? Where, where is it? It depends on the area, you're going to charge more. The price is going to be higher. That's logistics, right? Now, what would be the expenses if I rent, or si aquí un cuarto, what would be the, the expenses if I rent a room? What would be the expenses? Depends the zone. Mm, bueno, okay, that's true, but uh, no, like for example, not so much the zone, right? The zone is going to be uh, it's going to be higher depending on the zone. But once you're there, what would be the expenses for me if I rent out a room? Mm, if you are the owner of the room. No, if I'm the owner of the house. Okay, maybe the maintenance. maintenance. Okay, maintenance. All right, maintenance. What else? Flight. Excuse me? Flight, balloon. Ah, yeah, ahí vamos, right, light, water, oh. Wi-Fi, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the trash, right, la basura, right, whatever, right? <laughs> Los impuestos, right, taxes. Right, the alcaldía, right? So whatever. <laughs> you see? You see que fácil es eso? This is your legit, okay? I have to pay money. I have to pay light. I have to pay water, Wi-Fi, trash, taxes, blah, blah, blah. Right? Whatever. Right? And all this goes into consideration when you do the price. Todo esto va incluido en el precio que usted da, right? Okay, so you say, okay, I'm going to rent out a room for $100. Right? Pero de esos 100 dólares, ¿es 100% el profit ahí? No. Right? Porque tiene que pagar luz, 
Or in other cases, you can say price $100 or $125 with AC, si es con aire acondicionado. Right? <laughs> so I'm just giving you different scenarios, right? With services. Esto ya sería un servicio, right? This will be a service, right? Maintenance, or you can get someone to clean the place, right? So this, I'm just giving you some examples. If you're going to do uh, logistics as far as services, you have to be able to understand what your expenses are and what will be your profit. So you have to estimate. Aquí le puse number two. Estimate the cost. What would be the cost? Voy a agregar algo más. I'm going to add something else. Cost. Ah. Cost. Profit. Okay. Profit also. Your cost and your profit. In other words, your cost could, this would be like estimate the expenses, all right? Estimate your expenses and your profit will be your cost. Lo que usted está comprando para venderlo, right? So how are you going, how, you, how much profit are you going to get? You can do percent, like I did earlier. You can do percent and say, okay, teacher, uh, the logistics of my company are this. We move this product. How much? How many? And just give an example and say, okay, we do direct distribution or we do indirect distribution. Uh, our logistics are outbound or third party. Si adquiere alguien más para que le haga la distribución, you can do it also. And then you decide, right? What will be your, your, your estimate? Of the cost, ya le di yo el mío, $100 at three, and then the expenses and my profit, right? Is it direct or indirect? Mine would be probably, yeah, it would be direct distribution, where I just send it to, 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 the, to a store or just, or you can say, okay, I'm going to be here at el parque, cualquier parque, right? Parque Cucatlán, whatever. And if you want to come and buy a gallon of, of, um, of alcohol, I'm ready. No más abro la puerta. Los primeros cienes que llegan, o mil, here it is. And then, bloop, bye bye. Right? And number four, propose improvements. After you do this analysis, your plan, you have to propose. Tiene que proponer improvements. What are improvements? Mejorar. Mejorar. Hmm? Mejorar, yes. Proponer los mejoramientos. Right? Your improvements. What do you think you should do better? Improve the price. Okay, whatever. You service. decide. You decide. Usted decide. If it's service, price, customer service, maybe get more trucks, get more houses, uh, maybe get more product. Well, it depends. It depends. It depends. You decide, depending on your company. Do you want to get more people involved to to expand? Do you want to put a a, a main a main corporation in every department? I don't know. You decide. Do you want to have better connections internationally? You decide. Propose improvements. Esto tiene que ir también. All right. So don't leave it out. I will check. Yo voy revisando. When I hear your presentation, I'm going to verify. Si usted hizo todos estos puntos in a summary of five minutes, right? Now, remember, logisticians oversee activities, purchasing, shipping, transportation, inventory, where I depend, whatever you want to do as a logistician, right? If you have a, a I mean, see, see, if you're going to use technology, right? You can add it there. It's, it's important. That if you're going to use technology, please add it to your presentation. All right. Add it to your presentation. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the second attendance, right? I forgot about the second attendance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, come on. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to give you time. All right? I'm going to give you the rest of the class to work on this here. All right, so you don't spend time in the weekend, but you can also use your weekend time to expand in the presentation also. Now, I have to ask, when I do these activities, I want to ask, Everyone here, everyone here, who, si hay alguien que no la quiere hacer. I have to ask, lo tengo que preguntar. I have to ask that question. Is there anyone here that says, you know what, teacher, I don't want to do the activity. I just want to listen to the rest. No más quiero escuchar a los demás cuando la hago. Is there anyone here that does not want to do the activity? Please tell me. Ok, porque si no lo voy a agregar en la lista del día que lo va a tocar. But if you tell me now, si usted me dice ahora, lo voy a excluir o la voy a excluir de la, la actividad. So you can tell me if there's anyone here that does not want to do the activity. Ok, I guess everyone's going to do it. So I can do the uh, list para hacer el listado para el lunes. Oh, come on. Remember, if you have any questions, you can ask me. I'm trying to get my other, my other laptop to, it got stuck, it got jammed or something. I had to take the battery out of it. Teacher, um, I have a question. Okay, ask me, please. Sorry if you I, I don't listen. That about time. How much time will you give us? Okay, you have five five minutes. Five minutes each. Yes, five minutes. So you can practice before you come to the class. If you if someone gives me a presentation that goes like 10 minutes, all right, remember that no nomás es, it's not just one person, so it's going to be like 10 people doing the presentation. So that's why I did it at five minutes. Now you can go about a minute, maybe two at the most, but try not to spend too much time talking about repetitive stuff. So try to give me, like Freddie mentioned earlier, right, a very solid conclusion with all the key elements. I think one minute or one minute per per point, you can come out to have five minutes. All right. So it might be less, right? For example, the first point, the ¿cuál sería el primer punto al iniciar la presentación? ¿Qué es lo que me tienen que decir? What is the first thing you have to tell me when you begin your presentation? Saludar. Okay. The yeah. day of company. Yes, please continue. There's three parts. What is it? That will be the, the name of the company, the slogan, the, it's the, 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 the,
<laughs> Sorry, I forgot. But <laughs> okay. The first what kind of Serbia do you offer? Right. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, so you have to give me that, right? What kind of service do you offer? Hello. Uh, my name is blah blah blah, right? And I and my company is mi compañía es, uh, and then you you pres como va a hacer una presentación. You're going to share screen. You're going to um, demonstrate to the class your logo, your slogan, and your status in the company, right? Are you the CEO? Are you the president? Are you the owner? What are you, right? Are you the president? Like uh, Janari mentioned yesterday right the president of the, the committee right the board of directors uh, who are you right so you speak y ahí son unos 30 segundos, right at the most right and then you begin okay i'm going to start my logistical plan right this is our problem y empiezo a hablar. everything that i just talked about de lo que acabo de mencionar, what i just mentioned earlier and then you just flow talk about the key points right we use, remember, I'm looking for vocabulary words. I'm looking for for um, phrases or words that are related to logistics, right? Don't go, try to be technical. Try to use technical words, clave. Use technical words, all right? Or, for example, if you're going to say, well, we use, in our company, we use outbound logistics. Ah, okay. So, you voy a poner, ah, utilizo outbound logistics. All right, inbound logistics, third party logistics, right? Key elements. No, don't give me like, yeah, I hire someone. Yo contraté a alguien, yeah, and and then we go sell the product and right. Yeah, that's plain. It's just that bien, it's good, but you're speaking basic. Basic. Remember, you are intermediate level, not just basic intermediate or first level, you are level four. All right. So I expect, I expect a good presentation. All right don't 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 be like yeah and we went to san salvador and we bought this and the person sold me this and we spent two hundred dollars and then we went here and that is it teacher thank you ah no right please don't don't go there all right now you can do it that way lo puede hacer así no hay ningún problema i'm not forcing everyone but remember this is your progress y voy a premiar a dos, dos estudiantes I'm going to I'm going to give prices, right? So if you want to win, give it your best. Let me see. Any questions? Any other questions? Remember, you have five minutes. And I'm going to give you time here in a little bit. When I when I get your attendance here, because I I have it in favorites. So right now, you while, while you're waiting on, on me to open up this attendance, right? No sé por qué la cerré. Okay, let me open it. All right. Friday, 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 Friday. And the stars. Here you are right now. Do, 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 do. All right. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Carlos. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. Okay, great. Edwin. Edwin. You came out here. Francisco? Francisco? Yes, teacher. Present. Okay. Thank you. Freddy's. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Glenda. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris. Present teacher. Thank you, Jackie. Present. Thank you, Jarvin. Okay, you're just a listener. Jennifer. 
Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose? Okay, still not connected. Carla? Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Okay, not here. Neftali? Present, teacher. Thank you. Rolando? Okay, you're here. Thelma? Present, teacher. Thank you. Janari? I'm here. Okay, great. And Alvin? Present, teacher. All right, great. So now, I'm going to give you this time to start working, and I'm going to put this back on your, on your, on the screen here so you can see it. Okay, can you see it here? So maybe I'm going to give you time right now to start working on it. And PSN, please begin. Start working on your, uh, on your part, on the second part. This is basically it, okay? I'm not going to add a third part. You better get out of that set apart, but I think it will be too long. It will be too long. Sería mucho. All right, so this is, the, this is it. Hasta aquí nomás vamos a llegar. We're going to stop here with part two. And on Monday, I will give you some more time, okay? To work. This, this in blue, esto que está en azul, this in blue, is just giving you that, um, that extra information, okay? About logisticians. If you want to add anything of this, you can, right? This is just a reminder of what we saw the other day, the other day in the presentation. I think it was like on Wednesday, I believe. Uh, but this is just something to think about, all right? Now, you might say, okay, teacher, you quiero hacer inbound and outbound. You remember, I put here a combination. You can use both, or you can use all three if you want, right? You can use all three if you want. But maybe, tr so you won't complicate yourself, try to stay with one, right? Try to stay with one, inbound, outbound, or third party. The most common one will be outbound. La más común sería outbound, right? Inbound, inbound, does someone remember what inbound is? ¿Alguien se acuerda que era inbound logistics? Does someone remember? Remember, I put this here just in case someone wants to use a combination, all right? But inbound se refiere nomás lo que entra de afuera para la empresa, all right? So this is, the, you cannot use this to say, okay, I'm going to send this to the customer or to, to the warehouse over there so they can distribute in San Salvador or, or Usulután or something. That, won't, that will not be inbound, okay? Inbound is- What you purchase and what, what you storage. Exactly. Right? That will be warehousing. Warehouse. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you can use warehouse if you want. But try not to use too much where you're going to get lost. All right. tantas where you're like, okay, which one would it be, right? Try to use something solid. Maybe outbound or third party will be the most recommended one. Inbound is only for when, when, you're, buying. when you're when it's getting shipped to you. Usted está esperando el producto. That is inbound, yes. And I send it to the group, right? In the WhatsApp group, I started and I sent you a little picture like two days ago, I think, right? So you cannot tell me in your presentation, yeah, I send the product to the customers and we use inbound. Mm -mm. That will be outbound, right? So now, if you tell me I hired a company, a trucking company, to send the car parts, yeah, okay, estamos hablando de partes de carro. So you hire uh, third-party logistics, yes, I yes. see, right? Because you hire a trucking company, a fleet. Remember the fleet that we we're talking about, or a freight, right? The cargo, whether it's by car, I mean by truck, or by sea, or by air, airplane, right? 
but everything depends on the company and the product you decide, right? Teacher. Yes, Alvin. Uh, I'm doing my presentation about a service. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a service. So, yeah. yeah. I think there will be a combination or outbound and third party because I'm going to hire, to hire a, a transportation. Hey, great. Yes, awesome. If you can mix both of them, remember you can go over a minute on the presentation, right? Five, six, and max seven. But I will try not to go too much far. But yes, if you can do that, that would be awesome. Yes. Thank you. All right. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. Uh, algo más. Para que quede aquí también en la conferencia. So it can be here. That way, in case someone else wants to hear it again, when you give your presentations, eh, you must turn your camera on. Tienen que activar su cámara. All right? <clears throat> so, eh, algunos que ya se se acostumbraron a no encender la cámara, 
uh, for that day, you have to turn the camera on. All right. Okay. So if you if you do now, you might say, okay, teacher, uh, I can't or whatever. There's no problem, right? Lo que sí voy a aclarar es que if you do not have your camera on, no, you will not qualify for the price. Okay. I will still put, siempre pondré aquí, que usted lo hizo, y si lo hizo bien, I'm going to put it, you did a great job and everything. But I will exclude, como el premio viene de mí, I will exclude you from the prices if you do not turn the camera on. Okay? But that will not affect, eso no va a afectar en ninguna forma o manera su desempeño de la actividad. All right? you will just be excluded from getting the price, all right? So I don't want somebody to feel like, oh, all right, no. So imagine that, Alvin. <laughs> uh, imagine if only two people turn their cameras on. That means they won already. <laughs> si nomás dos encienden la cámara, pues ellos dos ganaron los premios. Porque nomás dos. <laughs> so for some of you, you probably say, yeah, I hope everyone turns the camera off, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> right? You hope so, right? All right. <clears throat> it's, uh, you pronounce it budget, budget, uh, Freddy's. So for those of you that are probably going to use a term like presupuesto, right? El presupuesto is called budget, all right? That is a technical word, all right? Budget. I'm going to write it right here, budget. So budget, right? El presupuesto, that is your budget, all right? And there are different forms. You can say the financial budget or your expense, right? whatever. Que tipo de presupuesto? You just put the name in front of it. Okay, but the general term, budget. All right, let me erase it.
Teacher, I have a question. Okay, Thelma, please ask me. What is the difference between white house and a storage? Because in my in my house, I have a storage or white house. <clears throat> okay, well, the normally, Thelma, a storage is a little bit smaller. Okay. okay. In a warehouse, yes, una bodega grande. It's like, uh, for example, it's a, it's a building. It's como un, un local, una warehouse, right? And it's bigger than a storage, all right? A storage can be anything from being in your house to renting. Alquilan también storages, right? Storage, storage. in, yes. yes. And they're very small rooms where you put everything there and you just pay every month. Y está pagando cada mes. That's a story. Okay, like bodeguista, bodeguitas. Yes, yes, yes. there you yes. go. And then a warehouse is entra y sale el producto. All right? Like a... Uh, Talking... Excuse me? Okay. Yeah, so that is the mm -hmm. difference. Okay, warehouse is, is more more industrial all right more open but in the storage you can have a small storage but a storage is where you store stuff and you normally are not moving it back and forth back and forth I se queda un rato, right? that's a storage but a warehouse but it's, but it's different concept cross docking excuse me cross docking is about cross docking Cross, I do not talking. understand. Cross docking is when when the product uh, don't stay in a in a, a warehouse. Okay, you're talking about yes. Inter okay, I can't, I couldn't understand the last one, but I think you're talking about docking, cross docking. Dock, uh, cross docking. Okay, Please. yes. All cross right, that, docking is. That, uh, Yes, that is another type of logistic, cross docking. Yes, but if, if you yes. want to include it, you can, okay? You can, which is like, I think cross docking is when you move everything fast, right? El movimiento más rápido, right? Right, right, okay. I Thanks. think that, if I'm not mistaken, that is like, it's, it's pronounced docking, cross docking. Docking, yes. cross docking. Yes, okay. Right? Thank you, thank you. Mm, cross docking would be like something. What would be a good example? Mm, algo express, right? Like for okay, example, if okay. you pay, if you pay someone that says, oh, como something direct and fast, right? I need you to send this to here. You know, some people stop. Like for example, tengo que hacer parada en Osulután, San Miguel, and then Morazan, right? Yeah. But if you have, if you use cross docking, it's like a form to go like real quick, boom, right? Lo más rap, la más rápida. Right. 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 Okay. Thank. Thank. But I can I use to co but uh, concept in my little history. <laughs> um, okay. You want to use it in your, in your, what you talked about the house? Okay, in my house, I, um, I would like uh, have a storage. But, uh, so, alquilar, what? Okay, what you want you say, to say alquilar? You want to rent. Rent, rent. Please, please. yes, yes. Rent a, a white house. Okay. So your logistics would be service, right? Sería servicio entonces. Yes, yes. I had to get a service, professional service to transport uh, my product. Okay, so now, okay, Thelma, let me see if I'm understanding correct, all right? 
you want to establish a storage to sell your product? No, teacher. I have to buy the product. Oh, okay. So what are you? So you're going to do inbound also then, or are you going to include what? What are you going to include? Inbound, outbound, or third party, or a mixture? First. Actually, I have to mix. Okay, so what what are you going to mix? Third party, outbound, or which one? Okay, my my plan is uh, buy product and to make a recipe change in a especially product to like a food and then sell to my my clients okay transform transform my um, my main product and and after to sell my client okay and then i i have to rent a warehouse okay so and and first i think that rent a warehouse because i have to buy the main product okay okay i i think i understand you better okay i thought that you were going to use your house as a storage como usted me mandó como una casa or something like that right i thought you were talking about a storage in your house but you say you're going to Hey, usted va a alquilar, no que en su casa va a alquilar el lugar, sino que you're going to rent a warehouse so you can put your product there to be shipped? Yes, uh, teacher. Uh, my idea is um, rent department equipment. Okay? But they offer my client, my 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 client, uh, fools, fools too, and laundry maybe. But laundry, laundry too. Laundry, yeah. too? también lavado de ropa. Yeah. Okay, I think you're. I it's think... a service and a product too. Mm, okay, I think yes. you're. I believe but you're... I think that teacher, I <laughs> I think that this is a long project. Yes, I and think then you're... can I can I change my my issues about this? Yes, this okay. Because is... estoy viendo muchas ideas así, and and you're not going to be able to to complete everything within the time frame. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's, because now you're talking better... about now you're talking about laundry. Ya es otro tema, eh? yeah yes all right that's another topic right it's a big project and then can i change yes you can you can change it you can change okay it. okay no problem i have two options now already okay all right okay let me see it's a food about well okay okay thank you, teacher no problem right try do not, try not to complicate yourself too much okay I don't want uh, everyone to get complicated on this. Just try yes, to make it as, you. okay? Let me see. Okay. I send you uh, my, my first part. Okay, I will okay. I will check it here. Okay, thank you. And I will answer you, okay? Yes, thank, thank you. Okay, no problem, Thelma. Let me see, I'm going to do the final attendance. The final attendance, Abigail. Present. Okay, Blanca. Present. Okay, Brenda. Okay, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Carlos. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris? Doris? Okay, no answer. Present. All right, thank you. Edwin? Edwin? 
Okay, he didn't connect today. Zero. Present teacher. All right, Francisco. Thank you, Freddy's. Freddy's, I know you're yes, here. Teacher. All right, thank you, Glenda. Present teacher. All right, Iris. Iris. Teacher. All right, thank you, Jackie. Present. Thank you, Jarvin. I know you're here, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you, Juan Jose. Juan Jose, you can join zero. Carla. Carla. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Miguel. Miguel. Okay, he didn't connect today. Zero. Neftali. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. Are you still here? Yes, you're still here. Delma. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay, class. Uh, we are finished. I gave you a little bit extra more time, but I hope you took advantage of it. And I will see you on Monday. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, okay? Remember, I'm here till 12, okay? Hasta las 12. No hay ningún problema. Do not hesitate to contact me, right? And let me see. Um, the one that stays today is Glenda. Your extra 10 minutes, Glenda. You stay today. Everyone else, you have a great weekend. Take care, and I'll see you on Monday. Get ready. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good, night. Good, Good rest night. for all. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Okay, Glenda, let me remove everyone. Let's see. Hello, Glenda. Mm -hmm. Let me remove these people. Okay. Okay, hello, Glenda. Hello, how are you? Today? I, I, I'm, I hear a baby. Yes, I have two babies. Oh, One. Okay. One is eight years old and another is two years old. All right, great, great. Yes. All right, that's awesome. That's awesome. She she recited the class with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Glenda, this is just a little extra time, right? Um, do you have any questions? Yes. This is the reason or something. Excuse me? This is, I, I can hear you. Uh, yes, Linda? Yes. No, I said, uh, do you have any questions? Anything that you would like to talk about? Really, my question is about the activity. Okay, let me put uh, it. Let because me... I, I can uh, stay in the class three days in this week, and I can... Huh? And all the activity is not clear for me. Okay. Now I'm going to send you the I'm going to send you the link. Yeah, estoy viendo que ha faltado varios días, right? Yeah, because my work is this week is so hard for the time for the topic of the taxes. Okay, yeah, I understand. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, you have a, uh, you have three misses already, right? Yes. Three misses already. Yeah. Three misses. And... Right. So what I can do is, uh, do you have the link, right? You have the playlist of YouTube. You can watch the recording. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you can watch the recording from yesterday, right? And the day before yesterday. Yes. Try to watch and, them. And we'll consult tomorrow mm -hmm. in the morning for, for the updated my class. Yes, because there I talked about um the let me see what days did you miss? 
Okay, you were here yesterday. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, you were here yesterday. Ayer estaba aquí. You didn't come Wednesday. And Tuesday you were here. So you can check the class uh, number... La de ayer. Yesterday, yesterday is here party. 3, 3 p.m. I remember this class. Okay. The I'm yes, sorry. I'm sorry. You miss yeah, you miss Wednesday. Right? Wednesday. So you miss cuando vea la lista, you go to lo puede anotar allí, you go to uh videoconferencia numero uh siete. Numero siete. Okay, yes, number okay. seven. Number seven, yes. Right. So you go to video conference number seven and you need to watch that one because that okay. one is that one is where I talk about the first part, la parte numero uno, the first part. Right. So you can see what this is part two and I did part one there on Wednesday. Now this part two is all these points right here. So it's and yesterday I talked about, well, you were here in class yesterday. I talked about yes. third, third party logistics, right? Yes. Right. Yesterday I, I, I take the class and I, I do the activity. It was la de miércoles tiene part one. Wednesday. Yes. Right. So if you can watch it, try to watch it and understand. But remember, it's five minutes, Glenda. The presentation is five minutes. Now you can go less, four minutes, or you can go over one minute, okay? There won't be a problem in that. But it's basically, you have to create your company, right? Yeah. You have to create your company. Maybe product or services? Yes, exactly, right? For example, product or service. And I understand that we we can take the three the three topics inbound, outbound, and third party logistics. You can if you want. Or maybe maybe uh, mix them. Yeah, you can mix them, or you can just do one. Okay. If you want to do one, that's ex I will accept that. All right. If you do. If you do the rest, I will also accept it, but you have to do at least one. You have to do at least one, one of the logistics. If you want to fix them, okay. you can. If you want to do inbound, outbound, or you want to do outbound third party, you can, All right? Yes. And the presentation, uh, I, I send you the Monday. You send me what? The presentation. No, if I I will send you the presentation before the, the you can explanation. Send, yeah, okay, before the presentation, right? Before your 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 speaking. Uh, you can send it to me and I can share it here. She said, like, oh, okay. that's easy, right? If that would be easier for you, you can send me the presentation and I will put it here. And then uh, let it be about three slides, maybe three three slides. And I can do it for you. I can share a screen. Or if you want to do it there, you can do it too. Prefiere que me la mande y yo la comparto, or you would rather. I will try to put in my computer. Okay. And then, you can share, and then you can share, yeah, I understand, I understand. Or, or if you want it, if you want it to be easier for you, you can send it to me and I can share it also, okay? It depends on you. But it, it won't okay. be like, it, my difference, it won't be no difference into like, oh, me va a dejar okay. que se lo mando. Right? It will be the same. It will be the same thing. If, if you do it right, or I share it you. How many dogs do you have, Glenda? Okay. How many dogs do you have? You have one dog? No, the, it's the dogs of the, my neighborhood. <laughs> yes. These houses are very small. Okay. And, you can, and you the can three dogs. 
<laughs> you can hear everything, right? Yes. Is 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 that better? <laughs> All right. So. Okay. If you have any more questions, any more questions, Glenda? Do you have any more questions? No, teacher. For the moment, it's clear. Okay. Remember that you have to include a, a proposed a proposal for improvement, right? Proponer mejoramientos, right? Propose improvements. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, no problem. Thank you for staying the extra time. If you have any questions, you can always contact me, okay? I am free Thank to help you. Okay, you. okay Glenda. <laughs> have a, you have a good night. Take care. Good have night. a great weekend. You too. <laughs> okay. Bye. I see you the next week. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. Bye. I see you. Good night. Good night.